going to start doing is just conceal my eyes because I have horrible <laughs> like I look awful I'm absolutely shattered but um, I'm just going to put lilac on it to make it look less dark and open up the eye and make it look bigger basically touch foundation over there I'm at eye primer because it's all I really have at the moment. It's really a matte look. In my opinion, the look is very matte. Unless you're doing it sort of dragish style. Um, which today I'm not. So. First of all, you're going to want to start by drawing on your eyebrows. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drawing mine really square, that's why I haven't shaped mine at all, because they're going to be drawn over. So I'm using a black liquid eyeliner for this. So any brand, whichever you prefer, so yeah, just I prefer to make lines at the end of my eyebrows first so I can see how thick I do or do not want them. And also try and get them even as well. I can't believe it's only 11 o'clock at night and I am absolutely knackered. Is awful and then just draw under then into your brow same again don't my eyebrows are two completely different shapes, so which kind of adds to like because you don't want it to be too symmetrical. and you're gonna get a black. I'm using my really crappy palette. So, yeah. Black powder. then you are going to just get a random clean brush and use where is my wipe? a wipe you're going to want to place it on the bottom eyelid the only way that I would find best to describe some of the romantic makeup is it it reminds me of a geisha sometimes Now you're going to want to get a different brush 
and preferably one like this, it's good for cut creases. Um, now to decide what colour, I'm relatively pink, pinky today, so I'm going to use pinks and purples for this look, as well as some, maybe some greens or blue. So I'm going to pick the lightest colour first and try to decide which colour I want. I want this one. Fluffy Rush. Or you're going to want to get hot pink now and just go over where you went. So, I'm going to get my purple, if I can find enough brush, enough brush, if I can find a brush, there's never enough brushes, that's what I would mean to say. I don't want to use the black, I'm going to have to use the one that has the pink on it. For some reason my brushy, my brushy, my brushes have just disappeared into nowhere. So after that, you're just going to want to, I'm just going to go in with a black, just to add a tiny, only the tiniest bit of black, not a ridiculous amount, you don't want to have like puny eyes. What you're going to do after you've done that is to tie it all together you're going to want to get a, a pinky purpley colour. So one that's sort of like a combination in between pink and purple. So one that's really light. 
this one isn't light, but it's in between both colours. But if you just tap it on your wrist, you won't get as much product on the brush. And just push that in between your brow bone and where you've just blended. Grab a touch more if you need and repeat on the other eye. Don't worry if it looks a bit too pink, we're gonna go over with glue and everything on top. So I'm going to find, I'm going to clean a brush. I'm gonna clean the one that I used to fight on because that one was fit. So I'm going to use the lightest blue on my palette first because it'll just look better. So I'm going to use this colour. Does it look light on the thing back? I'm sure it is actually lighter than what the rest are. I'm just going to grab my mirror again. I really need to get this on up. And you're going to want to place it just where your eyebrow would actually know. You're going to want to place it from sort of joint square area. So you're going to want to bring it along and then you're going to want to pat it in. This is what I do when I'm going to like gigs such as Adam and the Ants and stuff. Although nine times out of ten, I usually have face paint on, which makes it stand out even more. Now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to get this light green here and I'm going to mix another cream with it. It's probably like this one and I'm going to add a yellow, light yellow and I'm going to blend it into like darker yellow like this so it's sort of like more of a tropical colour. Although it'll look really extreme next to the pinks and everything. but. You know, that's the kind of stuff that they've done. So just pat the light green as your highlight, basically, is what I'm saying. Actually, no, I don't think I'm going to add yellow, it might be a bit too much. And add a tiny a green that's a tiny bit darker. Run it from underneath the blue and through into your current green, your lighter green. Just run it through. white into it as well. I'm going to add some white into it. But first I'm going to blend it out with a fluffy brush. And just blend it into the pink. Oh, the pinky purpley colour, but I'm going to add a tiny bit of light blue to it as well. Not much. Just to sort of bring it all into one. And then you're gonna get wanna get some white. 
colors don't really show up on this camera but I'll take pictures at the end like I started doing. Sadly this isn't the end. <laughs> You've still got lips and cheeks. I'll separately make different videos for you. Just pat the white on. On top. more black if I can find where it is my black brush and you're just gonna wanna outline the eye and everything I know get a wee cheeky wing And that is how you do the eye makeup. 